Yannick Sinner versus Matteo Berrettini. It's a blockbuster second round match at Wimbledon for 2024. Both of these guys have had totally different seasons in 2024. Berrettini entered the tournament at number 59 in the world with a win-loss record of 15 wins and five losses with six of those wins on the grass courts leading into this tournament. His best result this year was actually on a grass court in Stuttgart, making the final there, eventually losing to Draper in that final. His best win also came at that tournament in the semifinals when he beat Lorenzo Musetti, who was number 30 in the world at the time. His worst loss was actually a Monte Carlo to Kecmanovic, which isn't actually a bad loss considering how good Kecmanovic can be and also the fact that it was on clay. His form has actually been surprisingly good because of that Stuttgart final, winning a bunch of matches over his last couple of tournaments, preparing for this one. Sinner enters the tournament as the number one in the world with a 39 win, three loss record for the season and having seven wins in a row on grass to get to this stage. His best win, of course, was at the Australian Open in the final there, beating Medvedev to win his biggest title so far. And that was also the same tournament that he produced his best win of the year by beating the world number one at the time, Novak Djokovic, in that Australian Open semi-final. His worst loss was actually against Sidzi passing Monte Carlo, who was number 12 in the world at the time. So you know you're having a good season when the worst loss is a former top 10 player and number 12 in the world currently. His form as well has been outstanding. Of course, winning in Heller last week and making the semi-finals of the French Open a couple of weeks earlier. He has been on a tear the last few months. These guys have only played the one time before. That was actually last year in Canada with Sinner getting a straight sets win. Of course, Sinner went on to win that title. But Berrettini at the time wasn't sort of at his best. And of course, the best of Berrettini was sort of 2019 to 2021. And if Berrettini is healthy, we know what he's capable of. So this could really be a tough one for Sinner, especially if Berrettini serves well. If Berrettini's going to win this one, he needs to use that forehand, throw the hammer, at Sinner in this match as much as possible. The problem is for Berrettini that he is coming off a little bit of a back problem or a timeout he had in his first match. So as long as the back's not sore and he uses that big serve and that big forehand, he might be able to do something here. If Sinner's going to win this one, this has got to the backhand. We know that Berrettini hasn't got the best backhand and Sinner, the way that he plays his backhand, I mean, if they go backhand to backhand, Sinner's going to win most of those points. So using the backhand and also using his ground strokes to move Berrettini around and really push him around and serve well as well, which he's been doing so well in 2024. Great matchup. It's kind of like the, I guess, the older Italian guard versus the new Italian guard. But I've got to have a center on this one in four sets. I reckon Berrettini might win a set, maybe the first set or the second set in a close one. But I think Sinner runs away with it in the end and outlasts Berrettini. But let me know down in the comments below who's winning this one.